Hey there everyone, Kalandor here, and today I am bringing you a special video. I'm, today I'm going to be reacting to every single Paper Mario commercial that has come out uh, in celebration of the new Paper Mario uh, Origami King that I am super excited about. I cannot wait for it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I've already done a reaction uh, video to that. Uh, go check it out, please. Uh, if you're interested, <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm kind of dying here, but yes, I thought it'd be fun to go down and visit memory lane of, uh, of all the old Mario commercials and stuff. And I have a Steve's coming. Wow. Wow. You could have, I, I, <coughs> uh, excuse me. Wow. You couldn't let me sneeze before, uh, I started recording. Gee, wow. All right. I love I love my body. It's such uh, it's so nice. Anyways, so yeah, gonna be reacting to all the Paper Mario commercials. See where it all began and how it's evolved uh, since uh, since what was it two two thousand new two since two thousand. Dang. And uh, obviously, we're gonna be starting off with the first Paper Mario, uh, which is the Paper Mario that I started off with, which kind of makes sense because you know it was the it was the first one anyways but yeah no it was it came out when i was a kid and i remember getting it at a re like i i just remember renting it and playing it with my sister so it was it was i really loved the game it was a lot of fun and uh and then a thousand year door and etc and i just you know uh, when that came out, I got, anyways, let's get into the trailer stuff and, uh, we can talk about it while, uh, while we watch. Let's go. Help, help. Dang. Oh my, <laughs> what is this? Let's go. Special abilities, aka falling off a cliff made out of paper. Oh no! Mario! Oh my gosh! Just okay. We gotta we gotta go through some of that before we go. Oh my! What? <laughs> what? Like okay. So the very beginning of the trailer, you just got Mario fishing for some, what and a goat. Why? What does any of that? And then just Princess Peach coming out of nowhere, being like, "Help!" What? 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 <laughs> Whoa! Why is there just a random peach in the sky? Like I get, like ah, uh, like this was a long time ago when video games were still kind of new and stuff, but still. <laughs> and he just yeets himself into the water and starts swimming. Like okay. The game is called Paper Mario. The game, uh, these games don't want you going into the water. If you go into the water, you you get hurt. At least from the last time I remember playing these games, water always equaled bad. I understand that the people who made this commercial might not have played the game, but still, that's a bit of an oversight if you think about it. Just yeets himself into the water and starts swimming, which is nothing, which never happens in any of the games as far as I'm aware of. Except when he turns himself into a paper boat, but he does. He has new enemies with punky attack. Yo, I love this game, but. I don't think this, I do not think this commercial, I do not think this commercial would have sold me on Paper Mario nowadays. Like, it's so confusing. There's little tiny snippets of the gameplay. Just Mario's paper all of a sudden. Like, it, uh, it's so confusing. Maybe I'm just, whatever. Like, <laughs> very interesting commercial. I feel like there's a lot to overanalyze about it, but let's, uh, and why is there a goat? <laughs> Why a goat? I think that's the most confusing part. Just a random goat. I I feel like that's a product of the time where you just like where you just throw something random into the commercial somewhere and just for random lulls and hopefully someone thinks it's funny. But anyways, on to uh the next Paper Mario commercial, which should be Thousand Year Door, which is uh my personal favorite. Uh, I I like the first one, but the 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 first one's just sort of a little generic, a little too basic nowadays after replaying it. But th this one, like the story, the world, the combat, the everything, it's so, 
it's it's so perfect so let i don't i don't remember ever seeing commercials for these uh, when i got them at the time i just remember getting them and playing them i probably got thousand year door because i i remember enjoying the first one and uh, yeah so let's see let's see if this if this is a good commercial hey this came out in 2004 dang all right, start off with a paper airplane. Watch out for the water. Okay, good. Transformed into a boat. That's see, see exact. See this commercial gets it. This commercial gets the the properties of paper. You can't just throw a paper. as he takes to the sky, land, and sea on Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, only for Nintendo GameCube, rated E for everyone. Ah, that was that was kind of that was kind of cute. I liked it. There there was a theme going on. It was just. Uh, someone it was someone kind of mailing a letter uh, that was uh, <laughs> a little boring but there was a theme to it it understood what Paper Mario was about like you can't just throw Paper Mario into the water and have <laughs> and have him rescue a random peach out of nowhere but yeah no there that was uh, a little boring to be honest but I don't know I wasn't exactly paying too much attention to it uh, <laughs> Yeah, this I think I like. There's there's like a symbology here. Like that's sort of supposed to be like Princess Peach writing a letter to Mario, and then the paper is Mario. It's very, uh, it, it 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 knows what Paper Mario is, and it asks, "Who are you?" Which, eh. I don't know if. I, these commercials, man, they're, it, it, that one understood Paper Mario in a boring way. And it's like, ask, who are you? Uh, I don't know, is that supposed to be like, who are you? Are you Paper Mario? Come on this journey. I don't know. I feel like there uh, could have been a better way. Like, uh, if it was like pri if it was like Princess Peach throwing a paper airplane uh, because she got kidnapped by Bowser, and then it's asking you to rescue her, I think that would have been a, a lot better of a commercial. Because that's what happens in the game. But... So that one was kind of missing the humor the first commercial was, but it understood what Paper Mario was more than the first commercial, you know? So, yeah, uh, that's my thoughts on that one. Anyways, next up, uh, I believe is Super Paper Mario, which is the last Paper Mario game I've actually played. And I actually, I feel like some people are probably going to be like, oh, this is the last one you gave because uh, it sucked and you didn't want... No, no, I actually really love this game. I like this one more than the first Paper Mario uh, the writing, uh, the writing in this one is hilarious. I, I actually really like the puzzle mechanic in it, and uh, I enjoyed the combat. It was, uh, I actually enjoyed the combat. I really liked it. So, let's see what the commercial for this one is. We would like to play. I would like to play as well. This is the commercial. <laughs> No, bring back the other commercials. Bring back the uh, the first two commercials. No, no, that was bad. That was actually bad. That was terrible. At least the first ones had like a theme to it. That was just like Nintendo being like, yeah, we're cool and stuff. Look, we're we're giving this game to edgy teenagers. If edgy teenagers like this game, you'll like it because you're an edgy. No. No, there wasn't any like cool theme to it. It was just like a it was an average boring commercial. Uh and it did and it like <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm playing the game. Oh, this is so cool. And with like barely even oh no. Oh, oh that was that was that was legitimately a bad commercial, if you ask me. Like it it doesn't show you what the game is. It's just like Nintendo pandering to a demographic and it I don't oh that was just Oh, there was no charm or life to it. There was like nothing paper about it. Uh, like if you're going to make a game where all the characters are made out of paper, maybe try, you know, to recreate that with the commercial. Recreate it, add some life to it. Or or like try to do something unique with it, not just like, oh yeah, average by the numbers commercial pandering. Ah. Oh, let's hope the next commercial is Okay, so Paper Mario Sticky Sticker Star. 
I always wanted to play this game. I was super excited when they announced it. I just never got around to it. And the game is stupid expensive in Canada now to buy. So I just, uh, some people love it. Some people hate it. I, I don't know. I, 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 yeah. So anyways, let's see what the commercial for this is. Sticker star is a papery adventure full of stickers to collect, paths to discover, and puzzles to solve. Look at that. Look at them toads. Look at that toads. The Mushroom Kingdom is in peril. Here the sticker you choose will determine a fate of win or lose. Help Mario stick it to the bag. Uh, I'm I'm at, I'm digging the I'm digging the style of the gameplay. Oh, watch out, Bob! Is that the bomb mom from the new game? Could you imagine, Dag? Yeah, I'm the yeah, I'm bomb mom. I blow it up uh other trailers before, you know it. Bombs, she's cool. I I actually thought that was a lot better than Super Paper Mario because it at least at the very least it actually showed off the game and showed off what the game is like. Um, it was uh, it was still a bit generic, just like voiceover talking about the game, and you know it showed a kid having fun. I'm fine with that, just like a little snippet as long as it's not like 50% of the trailer. Like it was just a small little snippet. Oh, yeah, this kid's having fun, and then it goes to the rest of the stuff. The other one, Super Paper Mario, that was like 50% of the trailer. She's like, yeah, we're having fun. Woo! But no, that was like, okay, little quick snippet, whatever. Get into the game. Show it off. Show the cool st art style off. Talk about how the world is in peril a little bit. Probably could have been done in a better way. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, talk about the story maybe a little bit more. <laughs> and... Uh, and I don't know, but still a lot better than Super Paper Mario. At least I know what the game is about now, okay? Okay, what is next? Color Splash for the Wii U. First commercial. Oh, dang! Paper Mario's here! Oh! Dang. Lure a Dragodon with your lunch? Let's go. Okay, that that was a good, that was an alright commercial. I'm not gonna say it was a great commercial, but it was it was an alright commercial. Didn't waste any time on a kid, didn't uh, you know, had a little tiny little bit of humor, showed off the game, uh, and yeah, it, that it's getting better. I know what the game is. I feel like though they could <sighs> they if they just incorporated the 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 paper mario and thousand year door mario commercials with the new stuff the, the, the with a blend of showing off what the game is and while having the charm of making like the world paper or a paper airplane or something uh, they could have really had something special but it's just unfortunately a little too generic but the super paper mario one terrible at, but it's get each one is since paper Mar super paper mario is slightly getting better That's the sound of color so oh snap a <laughs> see i like i like these because there there is a theme to it the the color is stolen save the color from the paper mario world it shows the color being stolen it shows the gameplay it shows the game world and the narrator does a good job of you know explaining what's happening and it's not like uh, you know it's 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 decent i i think that was that was a lot the last two commercials were decent in my mind. You know, shot off the game, had a general theme to it, didn't waste time uh, on the dumb, super edgy teenager stuff. While the first two had some charm to it and they weren't just generic commercials, they didn't show off what the game was at all. The first one just flat out got things wrong, unless that happens in the first Paper Mario, but I don't think it does. It's been a while since I played it, but I very much doubt that. Uh, but yeah, they just the, the first one got things wrong in the world building. The second one was just kind of boring and barely showed the game off. And yeah, I don't know. They were cute attempts 
at something and then they just abandon it because they couldn't get it quite right i guess uh and then they went for super paper mario which was terrible let's not even talk about it. we're moving on and then it was just sort of generic but not bad uh trailer so commercials so anyways that was uh that was the paper mario commercials i got a lot more <laughs> angry at this than i was expecting because i i don't think i've ever even seen these and i'm such a huge fan of paper mario so this was fun to go down memory memory lane and look at all the old commercials and stuff and see what it what these game what how they tried to sell this stuff and uh how we've come i really hope that they do that nintendo comes full force swinging with a commercial that combines the original charm of the first two and an actual you know a actually showing off what the game is like with the last couple of trailer commercials and that would be really cool to see i think but anyways uh, until the nintendo releases a commercial for the new uh paper mario game that's gonna be it this was a lot of fun let me know what your favorite paper mario commercial is down below and let me know if you got as angry as i did i don't know i didn't i just <laughs> probably shouldn't have gotten that angry but this is fun thank you all so much for like watching leave a like comment down below what your favorite uh mario is paper mario commercial was and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video anyways thank you all so much for joining and watching check out my paper mario origami king reaction video out uh would appreciate it and as always stay classy